Hi there again, this is Jamie from um, Second Life EV Batteries um, and today I have the um, power distribution unit from the um, Jaguar I-Pace that we've just um, dismantled and I'm just going to dismantle it in front of you and just uh, go through what, what I find um, pretty clear um, from what you're looking at as well that um, from, for most of you you're um, pretty clear what what we are looking at um, you know we did actually um, in the top of the battery is a, actually a battery switch as well um, we sadly didn't get the key for it but um, but actually this battery switch has got you know, got the right kind of ratings to be re reused if um, and um, if we had the key for it we would probably sell it but um, um, uh, if you can see um, I'm sure they're probably available um, but quite nice battery switches, certainly with the right kind of rating that um, that we can use for EV projects. Um, so looking at the power, distribu power distribution module, um, the things that I recognise and uh, and acknowledge, obviously we've got a, um, a CT there, a LEM CT, so a very good quality CT. Um, we've got Eaton um, Buzzman fusing, um, that one's a 450, um, another 450 and a 315. Um, from what I can understand, um, on our um, coming coming into the um, to the power distribution, um, we um, come from the batteries, um, from the buzz bar on the batteries to here. We've got a negative and positive. Um, the positive goes via the CT through the fuse, um, goes through a um, comes through its contact. Uh, comes through another. Um, this is Is Isabella Hutter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I believe that to be um, a shunt, um, from what I understand. And then actually here it disappears down because when you look on the underside of here, they have pins that um, this actually literally plugs off of the battery. Um, so there are pins underneath here and underneath these um, these locations. We have the negative actually negative goes directly under these buzz bars and onto the negative contactor um, where it um, comes onto the pin um, and also disappears to a uh, to an, another pin looks to me that this is um, this is the ch the charger connections onto this power distribution unit because through this um, uh, fuse it goes to the um, what I um, I assume is the charger um, contactor um, uh, and um, and that hit comes back onto the pos uh, onto the positive. So um, so um, one thing that I uh, an assumption, but not probably probably right. I would hope is that looks to me like um, a precharge um, as precharge resistors, precharge relays. Um, they're standard relays. Um, actually, the way that it's um, plugged in, actually, you could probably repurpose that very nicely. Um, um, we have standard Gigavac, or rather um, com commonly um, found uh, Gigavac uh, um, contactors, and we can remove them relatively easily, especially if you've got the right tool for the job. Um, I loosened these off earlier, um, so <laughs> they're not found loose. They are they are evidently torqued up um, correctly. It's quite a uh, other than the plug the the plugs on the bottom. I mean those were obviously um, uh, designed to to plug directly back um, to, into the battery it, um, it, um, onto the back part of the battery. Um, so trying to reuse those would be a um, would be a really hard one. But actually, you could bring you could repurpose this whole um, module and uh, and bring your cables directly onto these um, onto these bolts really easily. Um, we have obviously these are um, the, the cores that are are going to the the precharge. So um, pretty easy to um, to remove. So what we will do is we will we will um, we will note all of the um, the spec 
um, of these components and uh, and we'll look for data sheets as we uh, as we always do um, get the data sheets um, onto our website along with the photos of the module um, of, of each component um, we won't wouldn't normally sell this whole module um, because actually we get greater demand for the the individual components Yeah, so the one component that I um, am intrigued with is actually this uh, this shunt, as far as I can see. Look at that nice bit of fat buzz bar. That will be going to the to our uh, to be going into our scrap copper scrap bin. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So here we go with a the the charge re, um, charge contactor, um, and it's a yeah T uh, EVC two fifty, um, pretty standard. I um, mean, in fact, we've I think we've already been um, selling these from Mercedes already. So um, that will just be a um, just added to our stock um, to date. Um, I'll take off the, uh, yeah. the tap um, off of that. So we would um, we wouldn't supply the um, the copper. Um, we would um, we would typically uh, uh, just remove um, remove the copper and and supply the contactors on on their own. Um, uh, important to say you would receive the um, the plug as well if you uh, if you ordered it um, lots of nice thing I guess uh, I think it's probably worth saying that the yeah uh, the the um, the iPace it was a was a, a real de a d delight to um, to um, to dismantle it was really well put together um, uh, really well sealed, but um, but everything was uh, was able to be um, dismantled um, with ease and uh, and uh, and able to is certainly isolate it um, to to safe voltages um, pretty pretty damn easily. So yeah, so we would um, supply this tail with this contactor, so you wouldn't just get the contactor all, all on its own. Um, we have the fuses as well. Naturally, we would test those before we um, before we put them on stock. And that's the 315 amp one that I assume is for the charger. Um, more copper. Yeah, so let's have a little. Yeah. So this is the shunt um, that we find. And part numbers, which is uh, what we what we'll do is we'll um we'll do our research on on that and uh, and see what it is, how much they sell for new, and give you an idea, give everyone an idea of whether um whether actually whether actually is it's it, that we can repurpose it. I'm pretty familiar with these gigavac um, contactors that's used for the um, for the positive and negative um, they are naturally we would um, supply them with the plugs but uh, they are um, a standard one actually probably very similar to that that is found in the Teslas that we sell already um, naturally you get all the bolt nuts and bolts with it And uh, these are these are actually the data sheets and everything on these are, are really easily found. So just taking a quick look at the the LEM sensor, um, <laughs> we already sell LEM sensors. We we harvest them have harvested them from um, from the Outlanders in the past, and uh, and also the um, the C zero packs um, that we've we've had or that we used to stock. Um, 
sadly we don't deal with um, we don't um, typically deal with Outlanders or the C zeros anymore. Um, we actually bought, end up having to buy these um, these in because there's quite a good demand for them. So we um, so we, we buy them at source. So but this is a new different a slightly different um, uh, uh, model that um, that I haven't come across. A DHAB S159. I don't know if you can see that there um, to give you an idea. Now more copper. Um, yeah, and probably pretty clear, but um, the same co um, contact uh, can be found um, for the negative um, as, as with the positive. So again, we would um, we would supply that with the tails, and um, and it's a pretty uh, widely used. Um, Gigavac contactor um, that we always stock and that is probably pretty much it because other than a bit of wiring loom um, there is not much more to say about that um, what we will do is we will um, we will probably keep the wiring loom on stock for a reasonable amount of time to see if it is actually of um, use, for, use for people we'll make sure that um, that anyone buying the, the CT will get the plugs um, and uh, and then the the rest of it we will um, take out any precious any metals and then and then scrap the plastic. So um, yeah, that's that's up.